yo, yo. Shalom, shalom to all the family out there. Yashara. So I'm driving and um, all praises to Yahweh Kai. And um, you know what we're going to do, man? We're going to blast down, blast down a bunch of misunderstandings and just not unknowns and like make known that which can seem complex you know what I'm saying what I'm particularly speaking about is why can't our brothers and sisters understand what the Torah teacher aka Yeshua aka whom these camps call Yahweh Shai and who the world knows as so-called Jesus why y'all can't get what it is that he was talking about now a lot of things were said right and a lot of things were misconstrued largely in part because of transliteration and also largely in part because of agenda now what's the agenda so before I go off into all that you know we're just going to get into what what the what the crux of uh, the conversation is and that is why can't these camps and these so-called Christians and all of these people get what Torah Knights is talking about when our message pretty much is the same it is the same actually as the teacher of righteousness and that is the temple and the mathematics right and the mathematics aka the knowledge and wisdom of the kingdom right so when we say the kingdom is within why is it that nobody can get that right and I understand the reason one of the reasons is is because it's your mind now what the teacher of righteousness ultimately did and is doing is waking you up to your mind now your mind can create you or your mind can destroy you so until you wake up to who Yahweh is then your mind ultimately is destroying you because you don't have the living Allahim or the living God within you it's really that simple that's what the kingdom is know the kingdom the kingdom of the most high Allah Yawan the kingdom of the most high is within but in the same sense the most high subjugates all things all created all things created the most high is over it. right so but I hear a lot of folly out there right a lot of folly saying that people be at be talking about the most high like the most high is a chump or like the most high is one of these like some little nerdy uh, like some stupid stupid imbecile or something who just does things vindictively or is malicious and who just you know don't have no understanding or no control over all things that exist this is the folly that we hear among so called brothers and sisters people claiming all kinds of things people claiming oh I'm just spiritual oh I'm an African spiritualist oh I do all this I do all that but they don't have no reverence for the most high right which is it doesn't make no sense they're just basically imbeciles who are talking and who are trying to lead you away from love for one and who are trying to lead you out of the pathways of mercies and justice into just whatever the world might have for you 
And I'm trying to just, I'm trying to break it down as simply as possible, you know what I'm saying? Praise you, Howard. But even then, some of y'all won't get it. Y'all just won't get it, you know what I mean? A lot of people can't understand that it ain't about the color of your skin. Even though the color of your skin does imply certain principles in creation, but that's not saying that those principles can't be activated within all people. So everybody is full of folly right now and just stupidity. Everybody. Everybody. And rightly so. Because the Most High will exact His judgment. Right? These are the ones who are outside of the realms of mercy. Right? Who don't realize this time of grace. Who don't tremble before the word of the Most High. Right? And they want to lead you down pathways of confusion. By... by trying to explain to you that aspects of the mind can be grasped and controlled just through knowledge but guess what knowledge isn't good enough right because we see the knowledge of the wicked is crumbling every day and getting exposed every day why why because that knowledge is void of wisdom right the knowledge is void of wisdom you hear people talk about imbecilic and moronic things every day, like African spiritualism is going to be is going to be a, a source of salvation, right? Whenever African spiritualism is such a broad term that all thing, so much wickedness is encompassed upon up, up under African spiritualism. But you know why that the stupidity like. They like to say that being, they like to say serving Yahweh is a religion, right? Based off of the religions that have been built up around Yasharal culture. But what they fail to do and fail to teach is the culture of Yasharal, right? The culture of Yasharal is, is righteousness based on the teachings that was delivered to, y to Yashara, right? But what happened when Yashara fell and when Yashara fell out of it and got destroyed? They stopped, they stopped acting accordingly to their culture of righteousness. It's as simple as that, right? And now what do we have? We have all kinds of other nations built up off of our sweat, blood, and tears. And rightly so. Why? Because we fail to serve Yahweh. In fact, the name of our Creator doesn't even come out of half these people's mouths alone. Why do you think we say Yahweh Kai? Because there is only existence. And if you aren't serving existence, then what are you doing? Right? Because existence is something you are not. You are only an aspect of existence. So, if you have another culture who have a different language, they may have another word for existence. But if that word for, that they're using for existence isn't something that they serve, then it ain't Yahweh. Right? For instance, if you go to Amharic, or if you look in that language, right, then you see that it had, it's ta, T-A, which is the word for existence, right? T-A is equivalent to Yah in Yahweh the Yah. It's two different languages, right? For instance, Rasta Farai. That's why these Rastafarians get it all wrong and twisted. Why? Because the word Ras in Amharic is equivalent to Yashara in Yahawadiyah. One means prince or head. The other means prince or head. It's just two different languages, right? 
But the thing is, the understanding has to be there. If the understanding isn't there, then inside you, it's not going to be the same meaning. You know what I'm saying? But the, what's, the, what's the exception? The exception is this, is that you have to make sure what's coming out of you lines up with Yahweh or with with your inner with the, your inner mind that is not destroying you but creatively involved in your life for your benefit and when I say your benefit I don't mean just purely providence and physical what I mean is enrichment because you can have nothing and still be rich So what in, what in your life, that's the difference. A poor man who has Yahweh, who has existence, will know, will, will know what rich, being rich is because they won't crave the riches of this world. They will be satisfied with the riches of Yahweh. That's just like somebody who doesn't ever serve Yahweh and who was caught caught up serving a man like those who serve Jesus Christ right but claim that Jesus Christ is the father when even in the remnants of the so-called New Testament that message is not there right you have to further go into the twisted letters of Paul to even in your mind start to think that a man could be the most high right so we all know it doesn't just stem from Paul though this is a teaching that Paul's letters have been laced with that stem from ancient ancient God worship right y'all have to peep who put these things out right Y'all have to peep. And then you have a whole a other kind of, a whole lot of other moronic bullshit out there, right? People t saying that the prophets is all, all made up. You know what I mean? Oh, man. There's a whole lot to the mind that should be revealed to you, but it's not. So why is that? Are you asking the important questions? Are you seeking to try to do these things that the church puts forth as something special, like turning water into wine and, and, and uh, making someone's leg who's, which is crippled straight so they can walk again, fooling y'all, right? Whenever the message should be to renewal of your mind, the renewal of your mind, in creating your spirit to be whole. Once your mind is renewed, once your spirit is whole again, which should be the real term, the real, the real message of the whole spirit, the Holy Spirit, not the H-O-L, but the W-H-O-L-E, whole spirit, which is existence within Yahweh, right? Who is Allah who is the power of powers. So, I don't know, man. I just see a lot of folly continually. And that's why I don't be around a whole lot. Because I don't see that brothers are enriching or sisters are enriching their mind. They're just constantly waiting on people to save them. Waiting on creation to come through for them and get them out of a dire situation, man. But instead of applying their own mind... And then instead of praying and serving Yahweh, and instead of praying and, and asking Yahweh to activate their whole mind, they're, they're perfectly content with partiality, with partial mind, with fragmented minds. You know what I'm saying? And I keep saying mind because these devils got y'all confused and twisted. They got y'all thinking that the mind is your brain when it's not. Your brain is part of your physical body. 
right? If you want to metaphorically say, okay, you have a bigger brain, right? A spiritual brain, then I get that, I get that. But let's get down to it. Let's get down to the reality, the real. The reality and the real is that your mind is of, the, of Yahweh, right? And your mind is how you perceive what Yahweh is doing in your life. So if your mind isn't activated, if your mind is black, if your mind is murky and dark, and when I say dark, I mean dark as in chaotic, not the darkness that the light comes from. I'm talking about darkness where it's nothing but a void, where you're empty, and you're inhabited by demons, right? That's why you gotta have your shield up. But if you don't, you don't have Yahweh. If you ain't serving Yahweh, if you ain't serving the Most High, then you don't have a shield. It's plain and simple. But the Most High would be your shield, be your protection, and allow your mind to be whole, right? These are very. I'm breaking all this down very simply. These things that. When I'm saying people search their whole life to try to get a grasp on and get an understanding that Yahweh reveals is openly revealing through His mercy every day. Every single day you get up, you breathe, you focus on your breath, focus on doing the right things in your mind, right? Everybody's trying to physically do things to please Yahweh. When that ain't what Yahweh calls for, Yahweh calls for your mind to be changed, your inner man, your inner soul to be upright, to be elevated, to be uplifted, right? You can't uplift your body, you, can, you ain't gonna take your body with you unless, unless by somehow you've activated or Yahweh has allowed your mind to activate to a certain degree where you, it just takes your physical with you. You just, uh, you're just gone. You just elevated it past the physical, which it does happen, but you're never gonna see cases of that on the news or other, other than sci-fi, you know? Because Yahweh knows all things. Look at our ancestors, right? Elijah, a, a Kanak, Kanawak, or Enoch. Look at them. But you shouldn't focus on wanting that to be a, something for you. What you should focus on is what you can do in this world, in this life, through the renewal of your mind, right? And I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I don't. I don't know how to explain that to you in a, in Amharic or in uh, Yahweh the Yah per se. But what I do know is that you're going to have to feel what's being said, right? If you don't feel it then it ain't within you because that's how we connect you know what I mean it's very simple you know so yeah I mean Yahweh doesn't ever tell you to serve and worship a book and put a book a literal book But see, a lot of brothers aren't articulate enough to explain that in a way that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna be some sort of elevation for our brothers and sisters. They might say some bullshit, like put the Torah down or some shit like that. But that's not the truth, man. You can the Torah in Tanakh is a gateway, so you you can awaken your mind, you can revive your mind. These are physical things that physically exist that you can utilize to awaken and revive your mind. So why brothers would say stuff like that, I have no idea, right? And then ultimately, they'll, you're just gonna be lost. They'll say shit like, oh, I was, I, all these things that you're trying to reach through the Torah and Tanakh, it, I was born naturally with that. No, you wasn't, no, you wasn't. All your con everything that you think and everything that you go that goes on in your thoughts has been built up over time, starting from when you were young, and starting from the things your parents or your guardians or whoever it was that was raising you was instilling within you. And where do you think they got their thoughts from? If it's something you consider righteous, 
Where do you think they got their stuff from? There's, look on any of their bookshelves, right? Let's say you were raised by someone who was a Pan-African, right? They're gonna have books. They're gonna have uh, so-called what they would deem as wisdom. And they're gonna raise you according to the things that they were raised by. They're gonna have doctrine whether the doctrine is written down or is it verbally passed. It's gonna be doctrine. That's why all y'all brothers and sisters, man, y'all need to stop paying attention to this bullshit people be telling y'all, man. People be telling y'all that, oh, you naturally have this stuff inherent within you. If you get to a certain state of mind where you realize that the things that you've learned thus far, that you have those, those things within you now, then that means you just recently came upon that knowledge and that wisdom and that understanding. You didn't always have that. You wasn't walking around talking about all, oh, telling people when you were a little child, oh, y'all need to drop these books and stop studying and doing this and that. You wasn't saying none of that, right? You was listening and taking in and soaking up this world just like everybody else was. Now, how Yahweh raised you up and, and bring everything into existence and creation for you to make that happen. Everybody's in different. Everybody's different in that sense. So, you know, people, y'all just got to get over the bullshit, man. And even in saying that, bullshit goes all the way back. Our ancestors had to get past the bullshit, right? That bull, that cow, that ba that Baal. Y'all can get, uh, that still rings true to this day. So how can y'all say that it's all, it's all, how can y'all say bullshit, call something bullshit when the bullshit has been the same bullshit ever since, right? The bullshit is y'all want to uplift yourself and you want to act like there ain't no creator. And then the bullshit is y'all want to act like the creator is some mystery right when y'all not telling the truth the truth is the creator will tell you the creator been here all along and the creator ain't been hidden but the fact the truth is the creator didn't reveal the creator to you because you wasn't ready now see that's the truth right because if you get something that you ain't ready for it might destroy you and that's on all aspects of life right I don't need to give no examples of that if you get something you're not ready for and you use it wrong then you're liable to destroy yourself so how can you say the Creator isn't merciful how can you say Yahweh isn't graceful you know what I mean our brothers and sisters man y'all ain't gonna get it man and he, He's going to keep sending his servants. He's going to keep sending his people that's going to bang your head up with this knowledge and wisdom until you get it, man. That's the love of Yahweh. And that's what our people got to be willing to do. Our people got to be willing to constantly return and bang on the heads of our people until they get it. And slowly, by, slowly but surely, our people is getting it. And in the right time, our people is getting it. But it's always going to be on different levels depending on how Yahweh is raising you and, cultiv and cultivating you. And you see that since we're no, no, no longer a nation together in physical and we're scattered everywhere, that Yahweh is doing an even greater thing this time in order to wake us all up. And he's pulling more people in to be one with our nation spiritually than would possibly have been if we were all together in the land right so because everybody wants to talk about what's going to be what's going to happen what about now what are you doing right now to bring our people into your spiritual land y'all willing if Yahweh allows you to bring people into your mind state and you know that your mind state is the spiritual land is the kingdom then what are you doing every day to bring people into that kingdom? Because if you're giving them the keys, then 
they're not walking in when Yahweh's inviting them, then what is what's that got to do with you? You did your part. They just never walked through. They never walked in. They never accepted the invitation. They never came to the wedding. Right? And that's and that's the truth. But this is where patience patience comes in because you gotta be willing to do that with whomever it is that you meet out here. Right? That's why we pray. That's why we pray, man. Like Hammer said, right? We pray just to make it today. That wasn't a huge hit for nothing, right? If you really look at that, you'll see that that was Allah Yuan allowing it to keep people reminded, man, reminded. And it isn't just Hammer, it isn't just through the conduit of music, it's everything, it's everything. Every day, Yahweh uses all this stuff to constantly, all things that exist, to constantly bring you back to Yahweh, bring you back to your right mind, bring you back to that creative power that allows you to be a creative force. But if you can't accept that responsibility, then he's gonna give it to others. Right? And then you can't complain whenever nothing is going the way your mind is planning it. Because you don't have that power. And it ain't some power in, in that power, right? It ain't some power that you can misuse. Because you'll destroy yourself. Look at all these brothers and sisters and these motherfuckers in the world who are doing wicked. They're misusing the power and they're constantly having to do things to, to keep that power close to them up to this point where it's mass sacrifice on a spiritual and mental level, in a physical level, right? Mass sac sacrifices every day on physical, spiritual, and mental levels. Just for these wickedness to maintain some, maintain some sense of power and control. But I'm here to tell you, it's a wrap. Y'all gotta get y'all minds right, man. Because that's really the deception. The deception is these wicked motherfuckers think that they actually have power when that's the deception. Because those who really know, know that Yahweh has all the power. So don't be on the side of these wicked, off-minded, off-brand mind, you know what I mean? GMO-minded, brothers and sisters out here trying to get y'all to become spiritualists or trying to get you to become label you something that you're not that doesn't have no no connection to nothing truly righteous so that's the message for today this is your brother Yahweh Shah and uh, you know big ups to Torah Knights Star Wild Knights those who really are the culture who are walking in the mind, you know what I mean? Treading up and down the hills and valleys of Yasharalam, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Who always listen to hear the word of the Wad, you dig? So, Shalom to y'all till next time. This is another jewel dropping session, you know what I mean? Shalom.